Now you can import models via FBX and now let me show you how you can export a performance via FBX. So let's take one of our sequences here. You can see it's again the same model as before. We only have the eye blink and mouth open expression uh, on that model, but it, this is just for illustration purposes. So now I can either right click or go here on the right side and say export FBX. And there we can set the file name of the FBX that we want to export. So let's just test. And we can select the target. So as a target, we can either have our generic template that we use to um, uh, our generic template within phase shift or the personalized model that's the actor. Or we can use all of the FBX models that we have defined, that we have imported. So also the one you have imported in the other tutorial. Then we can specify whether we want to apply rotation information on the next joint and potentially the translation on the root node. Typically we would switch that off. And then you can also export audio and video, uh, the audio as a WAV file and uh, the video as a JPEG sequence. So let's just switch it off. Once we have selected this, we can just say save. And with this we export our FBX sequence. Okay, so now we're here in Maya and I just want to show you what you get when you import the test sequence we just exported via FBX into Maya. So let's go into our um, in our folder here we have the test FBX and we just drag it into Maya and then it will load the simulation. Okay, here we go. Let's just focus on that part of the model. Um, let's go and smooth shade all and let's also do hardware texturing. So and now we have our model and now if you look at the timeline you will get the animation on that timeline. And so here you can see how you get an animation via FBX out of phase shift into your 3D animation package.